Hello and welcome to today's video and this is the final one in my light collection for street lights and what you're looking at is below the light that's on which is a Philips M150 GO with a 35 watt low pressure sodium SOX Plus light fitted which is currently fully lit and has taken approximately six or seven minutes to get up to full brightness. The sensor on the top is not the correct one and I'll go into more details about that in a minute. The sensor the light came with is this one and this is a standard night day sensor from the sun so obviously it's got a photo cell in it and when it gets obviously to a certain brightness the light goes out and when it gets dark it comes back on however also when economy 7 clicks they go out and when economy 7 clicks again they come back on so it's literally somewhere around about quarter past 12 and about quarter to six in the morning the light will be out and then comes back on again this is a standard photo cell and all this is is a barometric barometric strip and a photo cell and i think it's got a capacitor in there as well by the chunky yellow thing and basically it's the sun shines on it, the biometric strip moves and it opens up and then when it gets down to a certain light um, it will switch off. This one's also a Zodian. I hope I said that right. Z-O-D-I-O-N and it's an SS4D. And this one is also um, a Zodian and it doesn't say what model it is it just says so uh, on the other side it's just got um, eu.com so uh, those are the two sensors my original sodium lights came with the one that's fitted to the light at the moment that is on is a Tesla TC E1 NW XXE and this is the ones that are used by Leicester City Council um, and this is the um, the smart light street lighting which Leicester City Council uses and their street lights seem to are only these are only three pin as well like the standard ones and the lights seem to just just work as normal they come on when it gets dark literally all at the same time and then they all go off in the morning now the county they use a different um, system they use the the Tesla again but these are the T2 N1N G3 and this is also a night and day sensor and dim and this one has five connections on it. I don't know if we can get close enough for you to read the information. I'll try and hold it there and pause it so you can pause it and read it. But that's this one. And this is the one we're about to go on to. And this is this so-called 5G smart street lights. Well, anyway. When the street lights first come on, um, if there's been a power failure, um, I'll show you this. But what I'm also going to do is obviously I'm going to turn off the sodium lamp. So I'll turn off the sodium lamp manually. I could remove the sensor, but I'm not going to. And then let's power up. The Ampera. Now, some more information about this Ampera. It's an R2 Mini. 
and it has 16 LEDs in it and for this video I have had to dim the LEDs and how I've done this is I put a piece of A4 paper in between the LEDs there it goes dim and the reason why it's gone dim it's basically in test mode or something but when the street lights normally come on they'll come on dim and then they slowly brighten up probably to avoid damaging the LEDs and again at midnight these street lights turn off or this one will not all of them do and then at 5 30 in the morning it'll come back on well anyway in a second this light will go off and when it does we'll have a short time why the there it goes it is now linking to the street lights outside which are currently on because it's 25 past nine at night and it's been dark now for a couple of hours and once this light comes on it'll stay on because it doesn't matter how much light you put on the sensor this light will not turn off as it is G5 smart radio controlled Wi-Fi controlled street light I'm not exactly sure exactly how they work there is some information but basically there's a controller and sometimes you see them fitted on the street lights it's like a box with two aerials and they also fit on near substage as well and basically it controls the lights for a certain area and once one once you connect all the lights up all the sensors of each light there we go come back on and they all work together well anyway this light now will stay on with the street lights outside until midnight where it will shut off and it'll come back on again at 5 30 in the morning we've also noticed that around about 10 o'clock at night the street lights also dim obviously to save power because everybody's in so i hope you enjoyed this video but as you can see with leds they are a whitish sort of green hue um, again very similar to the mercury light actually and white white like fluorescent lights but not like daylight so they've got a I don't know what K rated they are but they're not the really daylight colored LEDs this Ampera light fitting was actually damaged when it was originally being fitted on the street light and when the workers gave me the two old sodium lamps they also gave me this one which was broken and the actual bit that's broken is where this the top of the post on goes on top of the post mounts onto this plate here and basically it's two self-set screws bolts that go in to a, so you can adjust the lights angle and I don't know if they over tightened it but basically they pulled one of them out and I have fixed it by basically drilling out the back of the lamp and fitting a bolt and the one with the bolt on basically stops the whole light from moving around and the one on the other side it does up tight but doesn't do anything you normally see when these lights get hit in accidents that that's the point that normally breaks so um, I don't know if it's a uh, meant to break there but these are quite heavy and you wouldn't want to be underneath one of them when they come off well, anyway I hope you like this video of the old Philips low pressure sodium street light and the new Ampera R2 Mini. If you want to, if you have any more information about 5G street lights, 
you're more than welcome to leave a comment below. And I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my set of streetlight videos starting with the high pressure sodium, the metal halide, the mercury vapour bulb, the low pressure sodium lamp and finally finishing with the LED smart G5 street lights. Anyway, thanks once again for watching and goodbye.